Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install the Arma 3 launcher. Basically, it's for Arma 3, and this is what's going to help you install mods, run them, and basically check out servers that you want to join. So uh, the first thing you want to do is go to a3launcher.com. If anything, I'll have the link in the description. And uh, once you're at this website, you know, you're going to see this. That's the launcher. Of course, you want, you're going to want to download it. Click download. Give it a few seconds. It's going to download. And then uh, let's install it. You know, hit run, install the, install the program. And then once you have the program installed, of course, open up Arma 3 Launcher. And uh, this is what you're going to be presented with. It's going to show you servers, favorites, history, mods, advanced. You click on servers, it's going to show you all the servers. You know, these are the maps of certain servers, how many players are in the servers. This is the ping. The lower the ping, the better the performance the server is going to give you. So that's definitely a plus. If you find a server that says 249 ping, you know, you're not really going to want to join the server because it might get a little bit laggy. So uh, first thing you want to do if you want to download some mods, click on mods and uh, look for the mod that you want to play. You know, let's say if you're looking for exile, go to E, go to exile. And uh, here it is right here. You see... Uh, Right now, I already have the mod, so let's say if I delete it, that way I can show you guys from start. Exile. Right here is going to present you with a download button. Click on the download. It's going to download the mod for you. Once it's done, you can actually run it on the server that you want. Well, basically, the server is going to have to be running that mod for you to get into that server, so this is basically where you're going to find the list for that. You know, so let's say I want to play Exile. And uh, I don't want to really search through all of these because there's quite a few servers. So you can go over here where it says mods and you can look for a specific modded server. Let's say I want to play exile. Go to E. Exile. Hit apply. And it's going to show me all the exile servers. You know, every one of these servers is different. You're going to have the name of the server. And it's going to tell you the mod that it's running. This one is running just exile. And then this server over here is running Ryan Zombies and Exile. So in order for you to get into that server, you're going to have to have these two mods. And of course, you're going to have to add them. So uh, let's say Ryan Zombies and Exile. Go to Mods. See, I'm already downloaded Exile. Go to Ryan Zombies. Look for that real quick. Where are you at? Ryan Zombies, Ryan Zombies. Here it is. And you see, I already have it installed. But of course, if you don't have it installed, it's going to show you a download button. So click on those two. And then once you have the mods downloaded and you know the server you want to get into that has those mods, you basically look for uh, your mods in here. See, so it's going to say uh, Ryan Zombies. Click on that. Well, of course, I already have some mods installed. Let me remove these. And uh, Ryan Zombies, and then you go to E for Exile. Of course, mine's still downloading. If you already have it downloaded, it'll show up right here. And then you click Add, and then Launch. That way, it'll install the mods for you, or if it has a specific server. But uh, if, you know, look for the server you want. It'll show you the mods, like let's say HEG, Exile, Chinaris, Volt Day, Virtual Garbage, Base Raids, Cap. And, uh, it's, you know, it has RS, RHS, United States Armed Forces mod, and then Russian Federation, Joint Rail, Rust Weapons. You know, it's like whatever server you want to join, it's going to show you the mods that it needs for you to run that server. So you just look at the mods that are listed. You go to your mods, you make sure it's downloaded. Once you have them all downloaded, you don't have to download them again. You just add the mods, go back to the server, and then hit play. And of course, you just, over here, it'll be the play button. Of course, it's telling you that you need certain mods, so it's going to show you a download notification. You know, if you click the play button and it doesn't go through, what you have to do is go over to settings and then make sure the Arma 3 path is set. Let's say if you got it from Steam, you know, go to your... Um, Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Arma 3, 
and then click on the armor icon that way it'll show up here and uh that's, that's pretty much it everybody have fun okay